G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines, and this is a test for those of you who thought we only go out on calm days. I've got Dave Chavot here from Northside Marine, and we have a couple of the new Geno boats. Geno, uh, they're great. a new boat to Northside Marine. The ones we got are, are some you know, fishing capable boats. Take us through what a Geno is. Okay, Geno is a, uh, a French designed boat. Uh, they've been built in power boats since 1956, then they branched out into yachts, and now they're going back into the more outboard side uh, power boats here. And they do outboard power boats up to 10 and a half metres. They do two ranges. They do the Murray Fisher, more cruising, and then as you can see with the Marlin boats we're in now. A bit more fishing orientated, but they're still a very family friendly boat. They've got really good safe walk arounds for young, young children. Well, they are, they're, they're very beamy boat. They carry their beam a long way to the front and they're, they're, they are a very easy boat to get around. And let me say they are a comfortable boat. Even on a rough day like today, it's blowing a good 10 to 15 from the southeast. We're at the Tangaluma Rex here at the moment. Um, and we're sort of putting the, the smaller and the medium size Mary Fishers head to head. Now, I notice the 605 we've got here has an offset console. It looks a bit weird for a start, but take us through the theory of what this does. Well, the theory of that is basically, it gives you that all, it gives you all that uh, coverage, so basically all that um, cockpit space. Cockpit space, yep. cockpit space, but also you, you have a, like it's like a, like a, like it's like a side side cabin boat. Yep. Okay, so basically you can still walk around the side very very safely. You can walk up the front too, so if people can use them like a similar to a bow ride. You can fish the whole boat, but then you've got the capability of being able to sleep in the boat because it's a small cabin version yep. there. Uh, it's got seating at the back, so it can comfortably fit six, six people and fully self-running deck. So very easy to clean, easy to maintain, and a beautiful little rough water boat. Well, I noticed that. I noticed it's got a really innovative sliding console in there. Take us through that. Yeah, so that's that's brilliant. So that's basically, you're out, out, in, the, out in the bay today, and it's a nice day. Well, you can you can fish inside, you can fish out by, you can drive from the boat from the, from the front, the sander, or right at the back cockpit. So fantastic if you're out there just flicking lures, trolling, even crabbing, just cooking crab pots out of the water. Just a really good concept. And a nice for rough day, for today, uh, we had it held for driving from the back, and it was just by a big centre console. Brilliant. Yep. Now, the bigger Berry Fisher we have here, this is the 695. This is a real comfortable fishing boat. Still plenty of cockpit space, but beamy and plenty of shade in it. Oh, brilliant boat, that's correct. Yeah, so that one's a bit more family friendly compared to the 605, because that one there has got a, a big walk around, but it's got a side door, so it gives you a lot more access to the sides so if you're fishing, fishing by yourself or coming and docking by yourself. It does have an enclosed toilet cubicle area, which is really good, keeps the women happy. Yep. And that one's got a larger berth area. A table as well inside, so a slide down table and a table at the back deck. But just a really, really comfortable boat. Fishing, but very, you know, very socialised, good social boat. Well, I tell you what, I've never seen boats with roof racks on the hardtop, and yeah. until I've seen these, you know, you can load them up with the paddle boards and surfboards, get out for a day on the water, or you can turn it into a fishing boat. A very capable boat, and I think a very popular boat. It's going to be in places like Morton Bay, where the weather can go from flat to frightening, and uh, this boat can handle it all. Well, that's right. They're like an SUV. So you can take your paddleboard on board, surfboard, go out fishing with the boys, surfing boys, fishing with the boys, or just running around with the family in the in the bay here, and just generally having a great time. You know? Now, Northside Marine, when they've imported boats before, they do all of the legwork for you. So Northside Marine import the hull, but they That's put on an Australian motor and they put it on an Australian trailer. Exactly right. Cover all the warranties. Exactly right. So full warranty on everything. And the beauty of that is, boat comes in, you know, very easy to easy to um, fit up. Don't need to touch anything. They're extremely well built. They're built to a standard, but it's a very high standard. Yep. Really nice boat. Well, you know, what do you do in a lovely boat like this? You have some lunch and you do some performance stats. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to come back to you with some performance statistics.
Well, there you go. That was a boat test for all of the people who think we never go out on rough days. Fairly solid southerly in Moreton Bay, pushing against the tide this morning and coming with it this afternoon. Uh, really let us put these Geno hulls to the test. And, and they are a different hull from most of the Australian built hulls. Uh, these are a very beanie boat, a really, really deep sided boat. And I suppose that they're more a fast cruiser uh, than a slow planing hull, if you know what I mean. It's uh, um, They push a lot of water, they carry that beam a long way to the front uh, but I tell you what pushing down across with against swells they do not broach these boats uh, quite safe to drive even if you do need to stay in the cabin on a, uh, a rough day like today now the two boats we had on the water were the 605 and the 695 and I suppose they're at the opposite ends of the spectrum of what Geno offers this uh, the 605 behind me here a real fisherman's boat a fairly clean build pretty easy to maintain with a garden hose but features that offset side cab uh, with the sliding helm and I think that's a really cool innovation because the rougher it is the further back you want to drive the helm or if you're tending your lines in the back uh, you may need that steering wheel really close and that allows you to do that and it's really easy it's literally the twist of a knob and that uh, that helm is coming back and forwards um, because that cabin is offset you've got a really wide walk around you can see in the cutaway here how broad it is you can properly walk around you don't have to shimmy around it you can walk all the way up to the front and take advantage of the front areas um, I think that the um, the storage is pretty good in this boat underneath all of the uh, the parts of the front of the boat you've got uh, you've got deep storage and again that deep hull gives you a lot of that storage room uh, and in the back of the boat there is plenty of underfloor storage for you, your kill tanks any of the stuff that you're going to need as an angler to fill with ice and bring your catch home um, of course they've got big duck boards as well both sides they have a folding ladder on one side they've got big duck boards so if you want to get in and out of the water do some diving uh, jump out do some surfing some stand up paddle boarding very easy to get in and out of this boat powered by the uh, the 115 horsepower Yamaha um, well, not the world's fastest boat but it is going to get you there and it's going to get you there with great economy let's have a look at the performance stats most economical speed was 33 kilometers an hour at 4,000 rpm where you got 1.8 kilometers per litre burned and this boat has a 100 litre tank giving you nearly 200 kilometers of range um, if you revved it right up to 5,700 rpm you went 53 kilometers an hour uh, at 1.3 kilometers per litre so as always as the rev goes up the economy suffers let's compare that with the 695 much bigger boat I, I suppose a fully enclosed cabin lets you really get out of the weather when it gets nasty but those sliding doors at the side give you easy access in and out of the cabin especially from the bow of the boat um, the most economical uh, speed for that was at 3500 rpm 32 kilometers an hour where you get 1.5 kilometers per litre burn this thing has a 180 litre tank and it giving you a little bit more range than the smaller boat um, the 695 uh, very similar style hull uh, very dry even though you're getting it throws a lot of spray you're inside the cabin and you're traveling comfortably in that rig um, for me the 695 is a real if you're if you're going to balance between family and fishing the 695 is a real family boat that you can fish out of whereas this 605 is a fishing boat that you can take the family out of and keep them in the sh and keep them in the shade um, things like a full toilet uh, in a cubicle in the big boat uh, will make it uh, very family friendly um, again that ease of ingress and uh, an egress of that boat means you can get in and have a swim uh, we took these boats up to Cape Morton today into the Tangalooma Rex and could engage in all of the water sports uh, with ease and of course if you like entertaining people in your boat both of these have capacities to take multiple people out and look after them in the way that they want to be looked after now you might be thinking about the price these are uh, the as tested this 605 just under $118,000 the big boat $166,000 as tested and both of them trailerable legally on the roads without the oversized uh, signs on them the big boat a beam of 2.5 meters and the little boy just under 2.5 meters to give you that stability that you need if you want more information on the geno boats or for the guys to take you for a test drive make sure you visit their website which is www.northsidemarine dot com dot au like their facebook page which is northside marine your boating partners for life or they have a special geno northside marine page on facebook which is northside marine geno uh, that'll let you know which models they've got in um, which ones are in stock and which ones you can expect to see in their yard if you want to see them geno have dealers all across australia uh, until next time this is steve morgan checking out for fishing monthly magazines <laughs>